Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines. We've got our wonderful, wonderful city all laid out here. We've got a big circle piece over this side. And that is doing very, very well at the moment. Then we've got what was originally going to be a slum, but we put in a whole load of extra bits. So it's, it's a bit better than a slum now. It's kind of a halfway point between the absolute uh, utopia over here and, you know, the workhouse over here although it's not real well i suppose technically it might be kind of a workhouse type thing ish uh anyway let's not worry about the workhouse too much i've got a new area over here that will eventually be turned into residential zone i'm wondering if i should put in a bit of commercial on um, part of this as well i am actually considering what i was thinking of doing is doing commercial zoning all the way round the outside just completely surround the outside edge with commercial zoning and then do housing inside all of it housing inside and don't do anything else so we we will need to have like the um garbage to be able to get in there but i mean the road goes over to here so i'm actually thinking that maybe we could put a tunnel in and join that in so then the garbage trucks would be able to get into the tunnel as well not quite sure but anyway what i was planning to do today was to carry on working on this bit down here our new dam this is going to be our hydroelectric dam and this up here is what is going to power it so before we can go and do that we actually need to just make sure that we've got the pollution taken care of and look at this it is looking absolutely fantastic now but we do need to keep moving these around a little bit so we want to just Bring that over like this. It's getting these to line up. So like I gotta put that one over there, and then it's smack bang in the middle of it. So it's um as long as I can get them roughly lined up, it'll be alright. It's um yeah, there we go. Right. Nope, that one can stay right where he is. And then you over here. Bring you down that way. And I tell you what, if I go uh, go up a little bit higher like that I might be able to get it a bit better I want to put that one onto there so that we've got some being pulled out on that side and another one over there as well bring you up here so we just move all of these in closer onto the area of pollution that we've already got here like this that is very very deep right there it's like so deep that it doesn't even register on the bottom of it right on onto the very bottom of the lake Anyway, that doesn't matter. And then we can bring these over here, like this. Just want to bring a few of them over because we've got most of the pollution has now been removed from the lake by this massive great big fleet of pollution cleaners. I've got one more bit over there, like that. And I'm just going to bring one in there onto that bit. Right, that's looking pretty good. Now, if I have a look at the pollution here, it's all good up this end, right? That's all fine. Yes, I've got pollution outside of the lake, but this bit here, I mean, the, the earth is polluted, but I don't think it's going to stay like that. But what I'm going to do, just to try and help this out a bit, is I'm going to relocate these to right close to the edge of the island. And I'm hoping that's actually going to help. So we, we want to get it close enough that we don't have to destroy any of the buildings. Let's get another one of these up here and bring that one down. And by bringing it in really tight to the island, I'm hoping it's actually going to grab some of this pollution that is like right in the ground here. And it's going to help clear it out completely. So bring that one there, look. That one can go right up onto the edge there. And then that one up there. We'll bring that one there. That one can go... Actually, I don't want to go too close to the prison. I think I'll actually go up here. Put it on that end. There. Like that. Right. So I've now got the floating garbage collectors up this end. And they're surrounded. They're really tightly surrounding the island. We're starting to get flooding now. The, the level of the water has risen quite a bit because of having all of the outlets going into the lake again. And... That has um, sped up the lake filling up. So this is the absolute maximum height that we want this lake. We don't want the lake to go any higher than this. So we've got to let that cleaning um, carry on. But there's kind of the limit of it. 
It's going to be brought down through here on this piece here, and then we're going to want a dam across this piece here, and then in theory the water should flow out down onto the lower part. So we're going to get the dam here, there, and we're going to go not quite up to that high because we, we want to keep it down a little bit so that it's below that level, but I don't want to go too much below it. You can see, I, I like the way that we've got the, like the colour on it, instead of giving us a very good indication of the height that we should have this. It's a very good indication. So we can bring that one over there, and I want that to go that height there, just like that. Slope too steep, water required. That would be better if it would go that way. Why is it there? Right, we'll put that one in there. Uh... Estimated production, zero megawatts. Yeah, well, we'll see about that because I'm about to let some water in here now. So we've got... We do need to connect a bridge. We need to connect a road on here. So that's got to go through there. If I go... Oh, no, that's, um, that's not a road that's coming out there. That's the road there, which I do actually need to bring out. Uh, if I bring that down... Put that out. No, I'm going to bring that up. But if I do it sort of like that, and I also want to do that one there. So I want it to go 180 out of there, and then I want it to come round. And I want it to go up here. Up onto that piece up there. So it will sort of cut. It should, I think, cut through. Okay, that's gone a little bit stranger than I anticipated, but it should be alright. So we can bring this one up here. And then it's just going to come up round the edge of the lake and then join in to that piece right there. So we've got that now connected up. Next, we're going to need... Ooh, should I connect it on the other side as well? I, I think I will, actually. I think I'm going to connect it from here. I want that to go at 180. I'm going to connect that one. It's going to go out to here. And I'm actually going to bring that up like that. So it goes across that railway there, and then we'll bring it down, like that, and then that one is going to go straight in there, like that. So that'll join in there as well. So we've got a complete loop all the way round. Then we're going to want some power. We're going to need our power lines right here, and that's going to have to come from here, I would say, and we're going to bring that straight down here like this. And then on round, and up over the mountain onto there like that. So that is now connected in as well. All joined up all the way through. So then the final part is actually getting the dam. And this, this is the bit that we've all been waiting for. We've got most of the pollution has now been cleaned from the lake. Most. But not all of it yet. But, I mean, we're, we're kind of, we're pushing the height here now. So we, we do need to lower this down a bit and this is actually going to be the most um risk laden part of this entire process we'll take that out to there actually going to take that back one further and then we're going to go up like that and we're going to go here and this wall is going to come out like that it's going to have to go right along the top up to that point there. I don't want it to go any further than that. And then this one is also going to go along the top of here. And that one's going to come right up. Does it go up to there? It doesn't. That'll go to that point. And we'll see if we need any more than that in a minute. But no, the next thing that we need to do is we do actually need to lower this down a little bit so that we stop the flooding on this island. That's ki that's kind of the next thing that we want to do. We don't need to take it down very far. It's only got to actually go down to that level there. You can see that line, that more solid line that I've just gone to. That's the point that we really want to take it to. We do it does not need to go lower than that. I mean, I will do. I'll remove the whole of the middle piece, but I don't want to do it too much at the moment because it's going to create too much of a tidal wave. And that could possibly flood over the dam and then cause problems. So if I stop it there, we've now got a load of water flowing over there. 
Actually, I think we could probably do a bit better than that. Let's um, let's do that. And we will just open this up a little bit more like this. And push it right down. Yeah, why not? I, sa I just said that I wasn't going to do this. And then that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going right into the middle and I'm opening it right up like that. But there we go. That is now going to flood its way out and go down towards this dam. The dam, I'm hoping, is sufficiently strong that it's going to hold. And it's not going to have any problems with this whatsoever. It should go up to the top of the dam. In theory, it goes up to near the top of the dam. And then it flows over the top and everything is all tickety-boo and wonderful. I've got these garbage collectors. We've got a little bit of pollution here in the water. But the pollution now is so minimal that I don't think it's going to be an issue. We do have a bit of a problem here with water flowing up over the island, but that should be taken care of by the fact that this water here is busy rushing out of there up against and behind our brand new dam, and this is going to set the height of the lake. It shouldn't rise any higher than what the dam is allowing it to here. That one there is probably going to go underwater. I can live with that. And, okay, I'm actually... This, this is pretty cool. The way that it comes up, I really do like the, the water graphics. I was told, I think I've probably mentioned this, that the, the, the water is fairly realistic the way that it's done. I mean, it might not be 100% realistic, but it is pretty good as far as realism and physics for um, water flowing in different places. Uh, okay, now we've got a problem. Because it's coming out round the edges of the, the dam. And I, 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 I don't want it to come out the edges of the dam. I need it to just go through the dam itself. It just needs to reach the top level of the dam and then stop. And I think I overdid it by opening up too much. But it looks like it's doing something anyway. It's come rushing out to that point. It should flow through the dam. And then the water at the bottom of it means that it generates electricity. In theory. Then everything works in theory. It's just putting it into practice. Right, yeah, we do have a bit of a bow wave that's travelling back upwards. And then we've got this wave down here, which is the initial rush of water. Let's speed... All right, now we can speed things up. Let's speed things up and let's see what this water does. Okay, so it's flowing over the main road there. And doing so rather badly at the moment. That's... That's actually really, really bad. Uh, hopefully that's going to just ease back a little bit. Because, quite frankly, that's not really how this is <laughs> supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Right, what are you doing? Power output, 528 megawatts. Okay, we've got a decent output on this thing. But... The big problem is how much water is coming out and how much water is going to stay in. I mean, all of the water is going to come out of that lake and, well, I say all of it. The water is going gonna, gonna to reach at some point. It's going to reach an equilibrium out here and then it should be okay. It shouldn't be any more of a problem. We can try just a minute. Uh, getting some more power lines, and we'll run these down this way, like this. I'll bring that down to there, and then I'll bring the power line over that side, so that I can get rid of these power lines here. And then I can go back into this one, and I can go to that one there, and I can put this wall, the sea wall, all the way out to here. Space occupied. There. Right, so we've got seawall that comes right out to the very edge. That's, yep, that goes right up to the very, very edge of the dam. Space occupied. That one's got to go over to there so that it goes out to the very edge of the dam. That's good. Going to the edge of the dam is good. That's all I want. And then the rest of it... I mean, yeah, it's drained the lake out a bit, but it's, it is going to reach a point where it's going to stop draining the lake. I hope. It's, it's got to at some point. It sort of reaches a set point on there. But, I mean, the, the flooding is going down now. Oh, well, sort of. It's still going over that bridge. But it is it is deteriorating. You know, the, fl the flooding is lowering down again. 
And then if we have a look at this, the pollution... Pollution levels have gone pretty much back to normal. We've got that over there, which we can't do anything about. Um, but the rest of it is looking pretty good. So the next thing that we're going to do is... Nope, I don't want to budget. I want to... Actually, I need to do that. And I want to sell all of these. Right, that's enough. I'm going to keep the ones around that island for a minute. Because we want to try and get rid of some of that pollution. So we've got water flowing out of these. And it's running along here... This has kind of reached a point where it's not going to go any higher. We've got water coming out the bottom of the dam. This up here is now draining itself out, which is absolutely wonderful. And we've got a permanent supply of power. Although that's now gone down to 176 megawatts instead of the 500 that it was producing to start with. Now, what, the bit that I don't understand is I've got that height on there. But it seems to be the wrong height on the actual dam itself. And I'm thinking that we've made a horrible mistake here somewhere in our calculations. I think I needed to bring that up a little bit higher. And, I mean, I can do this. I could go round now. We've got the money because we got, now we're getting 35000 a week. Um, I could redo this a bit later on and raise the level of everything because we no Astrologists longer need. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Uh -oh. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. 1.6. That was just a 1.6. A meteor uh strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Right, I don't think it actually did anything at all. I think that that was completely non-existent threats. Uh, it doesn't look like it's done anything there. The only other thing is, did it... No, it didn't damage the water pipes in any way, shape, or form. And it didn't cause any kind of tidal wave or other negative impact. So we got no concerns whatsoever about that one. Now, these here, not operating. Operating normally. Well, that one's not operating because he's high and dry at the moment. So our lake has dried out a little bit. It has dried out a little bit. Stonehenge over here, or Poophenge as it may affectionately be known, is now uncovered once again. We, we can see into Poophenge and it is there available. This is the level of the lake and this is kind. it looks like this is going to be the level it's going to stay at for at least the foreseeable future. We're getting... okay now it's not operating at all. I don't understand hydroelectric dams. I've got to be honest. I think they get to a certain height and then the water starts pouring over them. Um, but it only works if the water is at a height behind the dam and then at a height in front of the dam. So, yeah, it, it does confuse me at times. But what I think we can do in order to help this one out is we can bring some water from up here. This seems to be a water source up here in this lake. We've got this great big lake up here, and it appears to be some kind of water source. So what I'd like to do is I would like to track some water from there into our lake over here so that we've got more water flowing through, which would then go into the dam, because this bit here is quite low down, and I think that is going to actually help. You know, we've got all of this water up here. You look back up that way. So we want to be looking at this bit here so that we can see all of the lines. And that line there, see, it actually goes up a bit higher over here. So we could bring this in successfully through... Right, well, that's the height there. And it goes all the way back round up here. So, I mean, this is actually higher than the top of the level of the lake over there. I think what we want to do is we want to bring a dam, uh, not a dam, we want to bring a canal. We want to make a canal. We want a deep canal. A uh, deep canal is the deepest canal option, can have large amounts of water. And then over here we've got a wide canal. Uh, a deep wide canal, use shallow canals to adjust how much water flows into it. Canals automatically create pathways that ferries can use. So, I mean, we could use this with a ferry if we wanted to, which could be quite interesting. Um, but no, what I'd like to do is get a canal running through there 
from this point right here. And I don't know very much about the canals at the moment. I don't really know how they work. But we've got an inlet right here. So this sort of seems like it would be a good point to put it. So then I can put that there. Now what happens? How deep does it go? That sort of flows in like that. So if I take that off of there. Space already occupied. So I can't do anything about that. So what we want to do is we'll just pause this a minute. And we will then go to Le Bulldozer. And we will remove the Murray Highway. All the way along there like that. Then we will take this and we will join that in. And we will bring this one across. Construction cost. Oh, I see. If I bring that to there. That one stays going across it. Which is brilliant. And then... Right, now this is going to be the tricky bit, is getting it through there. That's, this is this is going to be the hardest bit. So I want to bring it over to that point there, like that. And then just stop that for a minute. And we're going to need to remove this highway here. There, 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 and there. I'm also going to need to remove this. Actually, I'm going to have to remove all of that. And probably that, and then that. And then that as well. And yeah. Okay. So it, it, it's not going to be pretty, ladies and gentlemen. So what is it? Hang on. Let's, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's, um, let's remove that a minute. Uh, no. I want to go out of that mode as well. And I want to go to you. Right. Statue of Industry. Can you rename the Statue of Industry? Oh, you can. Right. So you can rename literally everything in the game. And what I was thinking is I would start renaming our landmarks um, and taking the names from the Great Book of Names. You know, my Great Book of Names that I use for different things. Um, I was thinking that the Great Book of Names would actually be pretty cool for anything that requires... Um, anything that requires... Uh, I, I thought it would be pretty cool for um, the landmarks and stuff in this game. So we've got a game here that we can start using this stuff in. Now, why is it red on that side? Unique buildings, parks and plazas. Go to there. Right, well that's got the parks and the plazas, but it's only that bit. So really, this one here, we, we do want to bring this one in, but that's a station over there. That one's it's going to be right in the way. So let's just move this one for a minute. I don't even know where I can move it to. I could move it over to this side and then put the canal right behind it. Which might work. I can't put it round there because that's space occupied. I could put it there like that. That might work. And then I can go here and I can remove Scarlet Smith Street. And there. And also remove that bit like that. Then we can go back and we can go to our deep canal again. And we start going through here. Just like that. I'm going to bring it as close to that side as I can. Just a little bit away from those. I'm hoping this isn't going to, like, pollute the water. It's not a thing, is it? Does it pollute the water? We'll have to wait and see. Right. So that's all coming through to this point here so far. You know the only thing that I, I haven't actually checked to see? If I can build a bridge across this, I really hope that I can. Uh, otherwise, this whole plan is going to be for naught. Uh, highway. We take that one, and then I go from there, and I go... Uh, 180 like that and then I'll bring it over to here. Right. Uh, space already occupied. Why is it space occupied? It should not be space occupied. So we're going to have to bring that one up like that. And then bring it across. Except, oh I see. It really doesn't like it, does it? Because of where that pillar is, it's not allowing me to, to like put a road through the middle of it. It's absolutely not having it. Space occupied, but it's th there's a bridge. Th there's a, a, a pillar trying to go down into the middle of it. Would I be able to do this if I didn't have to have that pillar there? I suspect that I might. Oh, hang on. There we go. Right. Ah, right. You've got to get the road to put a pillar in the right place. So there I've got a pillar. And if I go back any further, it doesn't work. But if I bring it to there, it does. So I can get the road across. It's just not very easy. So if I do that a minute, and then I go to this end of it, and... Oh, great. If I, Yeah, that's just going to delete the whole bridge. All right, well, I'll do that. 
and I'll delete back this side as well, and I will delete it, and we'll delete this, like that, because I want this to work, I need to just get that bridge up a little bit higher, I think, so we want to bring that one out that way, and then bring it up there, so we know that's not going to work there, but I can bring this one up by three points like that, and then put it across, there, like that, we want a suspension bridge, and we need it to go straight across there, and then we can drop that back down to the surface level again. Slope too steep. It's going to have to go kind of like that. Um, yeah, I know, I've just done that wrong. I need to bring that back through there, and that one back through there like that. Then I can go back onto this highway, and that one can go like that. And then join into there like that. So we've got one side done. This side over here needs to come out to roughly here. And then it needs to start climbing over here like this. Because it did the same on the other. And then we should be able to get our suspension bridge. This is the difficult bit. Is get it. Isn't there a way to like get a suspension bridge? Like you can cycle through the different types of bridges. I'm sure. Oh, there. Yeah, there, there we go. Right, we've got a suspension bridge. As long as we can get a suspension bridge in there, and then I can lower that back down to the road level like that, and it goes up this way, and then we'll join back into that road there. Right, that's straight enough. It works, okay? D don't ask questions. <laughs> don't, don't ask too many questions. All that matters is that it works. That's all that matters. We don't, we don't care about any of the rest of it. Okay, so then we need to go back to the roads. We've got another highway over here that we need to take care of. And this is a two-lane highway. And this one we may have more of a problem with. So we're going to bring that one over there. Right. Now, am I going to... Oh, no, I think I did it. I think it did it. it. It certainly thought about it just then. I can bring it to this point. If I bring it to there, is that going to allow me... Ooh, there, so we got... Was it thinking about it then? It sort of looks like it's it's seriously considering it. I think it's just... Oh, no, it, when it does that, it doesn't actually um, do anything at all. Um, of course, the only other option is we go underneath it. Let me see if I can... There's, there's got to be a way to choose the different bridges. That there is the best that I can do. I have tried all sorts of different ways, but that is the absolute best that I can do by putting one over to there. So um, it does mean that we're coming in a little bit too close to my um, destructible thingy that we got here. The, the destructible um, yard here for... Um, Landfill, destructible landfill, you know, where we drop in our meteor. So, um, all of this is going to be in rather a lot of danger from that. But I, th I think it's going to be all right. So, we, we have now at least got the road across here. It's just trial and error. You've got to keep messing around with it until you get the correct bridge turn up. And it doesn't seem to be a way to specifically get any one type of bridge. It just doesn't seem to have options to be able to do that. So, the next thing that we need to do is we need to clear this piece out here out the way. I've got to remove everything here, including those. Yep, 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 get rid of everything. And that as well, like that. And then we can go back here into our landscaping. We can continue on down this road. So we want to go from there, and we want to take this into that bit right there. So we've got... The lake and it should now flow straight into this I'm not gonna do any more with that bit what I will do now is if I go into here and I take the landscaping tool I should be able to landscape away like this uh, though that does mean that you, I'm, I'm trying to landscape the front of the canal there right so we, we need to actually bring the front of the canal over a little bit further and I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, yeah, it will. 
Bring it in underneath like that. There we go. Right, bring that down to there. That should now be around the edges of it. I'm hoping. And I'm going to go to there. Right, that looks pretty good. Sort of lower the edges of this down a little bit. And lower the front. Oh no, that's, that's lifting it up. I'm, di I'm digging stuff into it. I don't want to do that. Too much soil. Right, well, we can put a little bit of soil down here. I've got, like, I've got the occasional sinkhole here in place that, so that I can deposit soil if I need to. That is going to potentially cause a little bit of um, a ruckus. But we can remove some of this. There we go. Right. So there's some soil removed from that side. And I've removed a load of stuff from here. We've got too much soil, apparently. If I bring that out, and we sculpt this piece out here, like this, there. We can sculpt out some more on this side. There we go, keep going. And then pull that back in. I'm hoping that the water will then flow up through this canal. So we stop that, and then I take the pause button off. That's going to start going in there, but it's also going in this way as well. Now, I need to bring... First of all, I want to put power across this thing. It's going to be quite important, actually. Um, and go to there. And I can go to there. Right. How can I do that? I can join those two together. And I can join distance too short. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, I'll have to remove that one there. And then I can join that one and... No, I can't. i got to go up like that and then join that one together onto there like that so this one doesn't currently have power none of them currently have power we'll have to work on that as well so if we go into here we want to take that one there this one needs to go there like that so that one will join into the power and then this one here can i get it to rotate round a bit really doesn't like rotating round on these things at all they really don't like it. And if I put this one over here, it just kind of keeps snapping to absolutely every wrong position that it possibly can. Even though I don't want it to snap to anything at all. Let's try putting that over to there. And then it's, it's immediately jumping back to the... Don't go that direction! I don't want you over there. You know what? I'm going to put it there. It's just going to have to go right there. And then we'll get another pipe and we'll join that in. So if I do that... Go on. There, right, now join that one in. So those are both joined in. The others are already joined in. That's looking pretty good. Uh, something's full over there. What is this? This is... Oh, that's a landfill with no more room. So I got water running that way, and I got water running this way. So let's speed this up and see what happens when the water meets in the middle. I suspect something very bad is going to happen here when the water meets in the middle. I really hope that it doesn't, but I reckon that that's what's going to happen. It's going to be bad. There we go. It's going to flood over everything. And... Okay, I didn't think this through. All that we've got is both lakes emptying out across the middle when they're supposed to go. It's supposed to flow that way. Go the other way. I don't think much of these things. These canals don't seem to be very reliable. Uh, is it going to stop doing that? So why is the canal so low? It's not supposed to be. Everything's flowing back this way. The, the idea was that the water was supposed to flow straight from this lake down into there. And it definitely wasn't supposed to do this. This was not part of my master plan. Yeah. Right. Um, well, I mean, the water's dried up a bit. Except that it's still flowing out over here. Flooding my city. Oh no, it's stopped now. It stopped at that end, and it seems to have stopped at this end as well. So all of this is underwater, and it's, it's, it's flooded around and done a whole load of flooding. But now the water is flowing in the correct direction. I mean, it does seem a bit sort of touch and go with this water here. Because it's now flowing backwards, and it's supposed to go that way over to my dam. That was the whole point of this little exercise, was it was supposed to go to the dam and not go another way. Uh, 
I mean, the water, it, it's high enough on the sides there. I'm thinking that we actually need to redesign this. And rather than having a canal, I need to actually have a channel of water flowing down through here with walls and earth banks and stuff like that. Rather than this actual canal. That might be the way forward. So we have to do another, like, sculpting session on here. Which I think we're going to try in our next episode. Because I don't think it's going to work today. Because the canal seems to go too high, look. I mean, yeah, it's, it is now it's seeming to flow in the correct direction. It's, it's kind of reached an equilibrium in here. And it looking more like it's flowing in the correct direction again. Which, the, the, you know, the way that I wanted it to go the first time. That's all dried up. This is rapidly drying up down here as well. We've got the floods being taken care of. So that's all going back to how it was. I haven't even started on the residential zone up there. So we will get to that. I mean, we've got a million dollars here so that we can have a little play around with it. But again, look, it's now going the wrong way up here. And this, to me, is a bit of a problem. I think we're going to end up with some serious issues here. And if I mean, if I delete the um, the channel, it, it kind of just removes the whole thing, doesn't it? So if I can sculpt, I think I can sculpt underneath the bridges and it does actually work. And I want to place down soil like this, don't I? Yes, I can. I can, I can build it right up under these bridges. So these bridges can stay exactly where they are and they're not going to get in the way of anything and then we can build this one up like this and i'm hoping that this is going to stop future flooding i can bring this around like this i mean i may not actually need to do anything else i can just bring this one up underneath here like that it's not going to go any higher there because of um that line that line is about the height limit but again, I think that's going to be all right. I don't think it actually needs to go higher than that. I think we can bring this along here, right along the end. And that means that we can actually leave the canal in there. We don't need to do anything different to it. One thing I do want to do, though, is I want to change this. Because I've now got two... I've got the Brown Bridge and I've got the Dexter Cook over there. So we, we do just want to alter that bit. But that's really all we got time for today. I know we've sort of... It, it wasn't quite what I was hoping to do, but... Um, I figure it's it's probably all right. Okay, we'll we'll leave that one like that, and hopefully those will flow a little bit. Yeah, that's better. That's flowing a bit better. Um, generally speaking, we're going to leave traffic now. We're we're not going to mess around with it anywhere near as much as we have been. Um, but we're still going to play with it for a bit. We're we're still going to do some playing with traffic, just not quite as much as we used to. That's looking much better. It does actually look like we've got water flowing from the top lake into this one. And then bringing it down here. And I think the other thing that we need to do is remove these four from here. And we need to build them along this side. We're going to raise that edge there a bit. And then it'll come over this way. Now this dam at the moment is not doing anything at all. Which is a bit of a shame. But I don't know if there's anything I can do to rectify that. I mean, of course, the other option is to simply redirect this river here straight in there. Block it all off here and have it running in there rather than our canal running through here. I mean, I could even do it down here. I could go from this point because the canal is really difficult to get the bridges across. But if you don't use the canal, it's actually quite easy because we just sort of do some sculpting and you know, just mess around with that. And that seems to work fairly well. So... At the moment, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm going to leave that one in now. I'm going to leave that canal there. And then I might build a new one coming from here and put it straight into the middle of the lake and like block the river off so that we no longer have this river here. I will keep this side of the river. That will keep flowing down this way. Uh, but what this will mean is that we get more water running through in here. And that, I figure, is going to be... A oh, now we've got, we've got power output 80 megawatts. So we've actually got, the, the power plant is doing something. There is water flowing through it, but I don't know if that's going to be, like, too much water. I don't know if that, like, ends up with, we've got more water going flowing through it than is building up behind it at the moment, and that is one of the issues. I and mean, at the moment, it doesn't matter too much. 
because of the water we've got in here. We've got a tremendous amount of water in there, but I think that it's sort of raising and lowering the level of that lake a little bit too much. And that's what's going to end up causing us problems. Because like here, it's actually flowing in the wrong direction now. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to work on that. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.